in 2009, I was in GS3. And my friends had access to lab and we mix some chemicals. It gives us this highness feeling and changes our tongue, the color to blue, sometimes green. And we are on like that till we ran out of the chemical. And that was the beginning of our addiction to drugs. I started taking charms, Tramado on my own because that was a replacement. I think I loved it more than they do. And that was the beginning of my own addiction. I was addicted to charm, to Tramadol for like so long. Even Tramadol got scarce, I switched Exo 5. When I got to SS3, I did started smoking in a little gauge. But when we are done with the SS3, I had free chance, I was free. I started learning work at Ikeja and I had access to smoke in full gauge. Smoke and drugs was my favorite and I was on Swift, Swift no, most times and smoke. Codeine was, was a side pack, always with me and I'm always, I, I'm always covering up, living like that on and on till I go to school and my mom would give me money like almost every month. And I'll come back home, I'll still be very thin and looking so as if I'm not even eating at all. And she keep questioning and what was happening, but I keep giving different stories. She started questioning me like that. She said that she, I must change my friend. She took me down to Ghana for days. When I came back, said I already bought Ghana loud already, bringing it back to Nigeria. So that was showing my friends that there was something outside. And that was how I got into pushing drugs. I travel, carry around, went to Oshun with drug, come back to Lagos. But drug feelings was eating me so deep and I was losing so many things, losing money, losing my life, losing career. While in school, I got involved with some gang and I was pushing drug on a slow, a, a very low scale at then. Then I joined the gang and, and I was getting popular and getting named. So I and I don't I want to keep a low profile because it would be so difficult for me to push my drugs. So I I I even didn't give it second thought. I just had to quit school. At some point I started having issue with my dealers because I was a crackhead and I was owing so much money, even owing my friends money, and that got me into so many issues. I had to run away from home. I was unreachable. My parents were unable to reach me for years. So I had to shift myself into Ikorodu. I was at the Ikorodu garage for a year. I was still doing my things on the load there. Then I got another issue with some gang because they knew where I was coming from and I was having so many debt issues. So in 2022, I was hiding at a friend's place in Ikorodu. So I was there and I stumbled on a book by Joyce Mayer and I I read just a few pages of it and I felt like I need to be in church. It was a Saturday. So the next day, I went to a Living Faith Church, uh, Gorigbe. So when I joined the service and they were about to end and they were like, you should wait behind. There's an announcement. So I was trying to go home and a lady held me and was like, you're part of the youth. I should wait for the meeting. So while uh, listening to them and they were like, there is IAC meeting and they will be going on Tuesday by 7 in the morning that everybody should be around and everybody should uh, pay some money for it. So I wasn't even ready to go. I was like, bro, oh, may they do my go out. But the lady also said, ah, hey, are you not paying? And I was like, I will come, I will come and pay later. And she said, don't worry, I will pay for you. And she paid for me. I was like, ah, you should this one. But when I got home, what came to my own mind was like, this would be a, a perfect opportunity for me to sell and then I'll be able to move from there straight to Benin. So that was my plan. So I go back home, packed my bag, everything, my drugs, planning to come to sell. And I was there on Tuesday, the first day. Nothing happened. The next day, the third day. And I was unable to sell. There was no space, security everywhere. I even almost got to a fight in the place because I was actually very angry that ah, it's the soap. So I would just go outside.